Replace all panels that are removed to perform maintenance procedures. Do not operate the washer extractor with missing guards or with broken or missing parts. Do not bypass any safety devices. The door lock should be checked daily to ensure proper operation. Also check that all safety and instruction stickers are on the machine. Any missing or illegible safety and or instruction stickers should be replaced immediately. Inspect the water inlet valve hose connections on the back of the machine for leaks. Inspect the steam hose connections for leaks where applicable. Check the door interlock before starting operation. Attempt to start the machine with the door open. The machine should not start with the door open. Close the door and start the machine. Attempt to open the door while the cycle is in progress. The door should not open. If the door lock and interlock are not functioning properly, take the machine out of service and contact a service technician. Clean the AC drive box fan. Blow the fins clean by using compressed air at a pressure of 60 to 90 PSI. The fins may also be vacuumed clean. Use care to avoid damaging the cooling fan or other components. Clean the machine's top, front, and side panels with mild detergent. Thoroughly rinse and dry all surfaces after cleaning them. Remove all detergent residue from the soap dispenser. Clean the door gasket and remove all detergents and other products. Shut off the main water, steam, and power connections at the end of each day. Do not change the settings of the water inlet taps on boiler-fed machines once these have been installed. Leave the loading door and soap dispenser cover open at the end of each day to allow moisture to evaporate. Unload the machine promptly after each completed cycle to prevent moisture buildup. Leave the loading door open after each completed cycle to allow moisture to evaporate. While the machine's basket is loaded, check the alignment of the out-of-balance switch to make sure it is centered in the tilt detector plate cutout. Check the machine for leaks. Start an unloaded cycle to fill the machine. Verify that the door and door gasket do not leak. Verify that the drain system is operating and that the drain system is free from obstruction. If water does not leak out during the first wash segment, the drain valve is closed and functioning properly. Disconnect power to the machine at its source before performing the monthly maintenance procedures. Remove the back panel and check the V-belts for uneven wear and frayed edges. If the V-belts require replacement, call a qualified service technician. Verify proper V-belt alignment by placing a straight edge across both pulley faces. The straight edge should make contact with the pulleys in four places. If the V-belts require adjustment, call a qualified service technician. Remove the back panel and check the overflow hose and drain hose for leaks. Use the following procedure to clean the inlet hose screen filters. Turn the water off and if necessary, allow the valve to cool. Unscrew the inlet hose and remove the filter screen. Clean the filter screen with soapy water and reinstall it. Replace the filter screen if it is worn or damaged. Remove the top panel and check the supply dispenser hoses for leaks. Clean the lint from the motor with compressed air. Clean the interior of the machine, both the basket and the shell, with a damp sponge or cloth. Remove any moisture and dust from all electrical components with compressed air. Verify that the insulation is intact on all external wires and that all connections are secure. If bare wire is evident, call a service technician. If necessary, tighten the bearing housing's mounting bolts. If necessary, tighten the shock absorber's mounting bolts. Disconnect power to the machine before performing the yearly maintenance procedures. For 75, 100, 135, and 165 pound capacity models only, replace the machine's automatic lubricator. 
Failure to do so could void the machine's warranty.